What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as the Mayas. In the previous part, we spent a good amount of time on countering the Shoshone's efforts to ally the city-states that we needed. Um, we've been working on our science and it's it's been improving. Cities have been growing, we've been making research labs, um, we've been making university no we haven't been making universities i don't know what we've been what else we've been doing we're trying to get a lot more money so stock exchanges banks um wherever possible really um and we've been doing pretty all right but now egypt suddenly showed up with a settler and i'm assuming they wanted this aluminum um so i instantly bought that tile but they could be trying to get a city in my middle uh, part of this region which would be very annoying, but it seems like they're leaving now. Yeah, nobody cares what your opinion is, man. All right, you've got one city. Don't ever tell me anything ever again. All right, so let's just go with seven. He's cool with me. I'm cool with him. Even though I, I don't know if I want more friendship with the guy. I mean, he's probably going to die at some point soon. If the Shoshone suddenly decide they dislike India, then the guy's just dead. He's got two cities. I'm just hoping they still wipe out England at some point, because they're just annoying, really. Guess we'll see. Alright, let's see. So we have ten votes now. We're starting to catch up to the Shoshone, but we're not quite there. Alright, so let's steal... Seriously, that's it. <laughs> okay, well that saves me one turn. I guess that's good. You know, I'll take it. It's just... Okay. That's a bummer. Alright, let's get this tile. And after this, I think we can start working on some... Um, some specialists. We have a lot of spots for that, but we just want a Planky to grow a lot more. Um, it was just really quite small. Stop the Egyptians. Don't let them do this. Alright, so I decided to... Um, Possibly at least make a all right go there possibly make a citadel um, That will force them to go back All right, let's go and then also I sent a bunch of troops this way so that Egypt would not be able Hopefully to get their settler to the spot where they wanted to be, but I think they're already there Which would mean that next turn we could be seeing an Egyptian city suddenly popping up in the middle of my territory. I Honestly, really, really hope it won't happen, but he's gonna. I think he's gonna settle right here. He's got the bananas. My agents go where they please. Nobody cares what you think. But I like the bananas are the only. Shut up. Are the only resource here that is worth anything. Where is he going? What is he hoping to accomplish? Oh, he wants to die. Now I get it. Okay. I see what you're trying to do. So, basically, I'm thinking, all right, let's see, Giza, try with Samoa, that's basically our best option, or Honolulu, but this is real easy. We want salt. The borders have grown a bit. This guy is returning home. Monaco would like some citrus. They also want science. All right, so we got secularism last time, but we still need to get free thought as well, though sovereignty also would be pretty sweet. Humanism I don't care about too much. We could also... Let's see. All right. Some of this is pretty good. I think we're going to try to get to that extra tenant. Wounded military units inflict more damage than normal, or spies can steal quicker. I think I'm just going to go with that one. Seeing as we are still pretty far behind in science. Six technologies. We're catching up, but it's not quick enough. The English have 49. They probably still have at least one technology, I'm guessing, that we can steal. But we're going to probably move to the Shoshone afterwards. They're not going to like it. They're going to get angry with me, but it will help me out. All right, yeah, public schools is what we've been making. Not universities, public schools. Um, let's see. Yeah, I feel like they do need a factory. Production just isn't that high over there. All right, I'm going to make a citadel. 
on this exact tile. The only way it can stop me from doing that is by settling right now. And then I'll still, I'll just buy the, I can't buy the stupid dies, but I'll just make a sit out here or wherever and make sure that he can't get to the dies. If he does make a city there, I want to make sure that it's terrible. I want to make sure it sucks so that he wants to burn it himself. That is basically the goal here. All right, so he's going to have to move around somehow, which isn't possible right now. So he would have to settle here, right on the bananas, which would be a terrible mistake because that would give him one tile less. He won't get the iron and he's just going to be in a, in a terrible spot. So he probably won't do that. He's, I think he's going to try and wait until he can get to the dice. He's going to try to steal those. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. That's just really dumb what you just asked me. I hope you realize this. Because that's a lot of money. He's got some troops marching around, but we have friendship for a while longer. Although he does seem to be more of the backstabby type. More so than the Shoshone. I guess we'll see what he's gonna do. But we're starting to get ready. Alright, Eiffel Tower's done. That's actually pretty nice. That's some good happiness. That's a bit of tourism, which doesn't matter at all. But at least the Shoshone will not be able to make this now. Uh, let's see. Alright, so if we make a... Citadel. I think we should, like, maximize... Well, we also want the bananas, though. That's it. We're just gonna make a citadel. Boom, right here. And there we go. So now that settler's pushed back into this little crevice. There you go, buddy. Now you're stuck. Are you happy now? You're my prisoner for all eternity now. You are never getting out of here. Alright, so as soon as he gets to that spot, I'm just gonna try and close this off. I don't want him- I basically want him to not be able to use that settler ever. Um, that is my- my perfect plan here. Alright, they have good production, so I'm just gonna go to the public school here. Get some extra science. Alright, looking good, fellas. Good job. Operation successful, I'd say. Over into call, we are going to get a... I think we should get just get their research lab, really. Because they're already making a lot of science. They have an observatory. So research lab, observatory, public school, university, library, all combined is pretty powerful. Especially once the city starts growing. I think it's going to be real good. They also have a lot of production. I like to call. I would say it's probably one of my favorite cities we have over here. It's been quite interesting. Making this city grow. I usually don't really have sort of production -y cities, but they all they have is mines. Bunch of lumber mills. Alright, so let's get back to friendly territory here. Yeah, you made it, buddy. You survived. You did real good. Copenhagen, let's do that. Look at my money. Alright, so who else could we convert? I guess we could just go over to some more Shoshone cities and convert them. There we go. They're not going anywhere. Alright, over in the capital. We still need to make Big Ben. Broadway, I don't really care about. Crystal Dentor would be pretty cool, but it's gonna take me a very long time to make this. Well, Big Ben is actually pretty good. It's good, good money, bit of good culture, and it's gonna allow me to um, purchase things a bit cheaper. But then again... We do really need some better units, so... I'm not really sure, but I think I'm just gonna go with some infantry. We do need some infantry, we need it bad. And I've been putting it off for a while now, and it's time that we, um... Took some action here. 69 influence. 48. Alright, I think next turn we're just gonna get Ragusa on our side. Because that's going to be one more vote that I'm stealing from the Shoshone. Bringing the difference. Oh, okay, he made Broadway. I would have expected as much. Uh, no. But you can go ahead and kill her. Why are you even asking me? It's not a big deal. It's one city. I guess he's... He's, um, worried about the diplomatic repercussions of a war again. Uh, Egypt, I'm pretty sure, knows that the Shoshone are basically giant murderers. They don't seem to like each other that much anymore. 
And the worst part is, I'm gonna have to pick sides soon. Plotting against me? Gee, what a surprise that is. Alright, let's steal some technology from... Oh, come on. Oh, wait, we can get flight for free this time around. That's better. Probably stole that from... Oh, from Egypt. Alright, that's good. Alright, one of our spies was promoted. Chichen Itza has grown. Still some pretty good titles available. Alright, so it was a good choice probably to start making some military units. Forty-eight. I think just to be safe, let's just give him a thousand and then just be done with it. There we go. They only have one more vote than I do. And then I yeah, they do have the Forbidden Palace, so normally I would have more. I would have one more vote than he does, but you know, he's got that wonder. Good for him, I guess. I don't know what else to say. Biology is gonna be pretty good. We're gonna finally see some oil. We do have oil, we just can't see it yet, which is kinda weird. Apparently our people just don't know what oil is quite yet. I wonder what year it is. 1852. I think I think by 1852 you should probably know what oil is. Also that extra trade route is going to be very good for us. Alright, die to Gandhi has ended. Don't know why. We found some oil. We've got some around... Seven around Tulum, that's pretty good. And then we have even more around Tulum, so that was a pretty good spot to settle the city. <clears throat> Alright, so we're done with England. We can't steal from them, it's over. So I'm gonna send Koyopa over to Mozankani. Look at their population, man. That is nuts. Alright, so where is it? To call us grown? Which is good. Yeah, it really isn't that much food available, so I guess we're just gonna go with some uh, some specialists here because that spot we don't really need it that much. It's time we got some uh, specialists going on here. Let's see, academies are gonna be better. I think from this point onward, we don't really have a very let's see. How did you? Yeah, alright, so I can shift-click and that way queue them. I never queue technologies, usually, because I just like doing it one by one. Helps me keep an eye on the, uh, the bigger picture here. Alright, there you go. Let's see, we got four more turns for that. We're gonna need another cargo ship, but okay. Oh, he's already got infantry. If, if uh, Egypt actually attacks me, it's gonna be over. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't want to declare war on anybody. I get it. He's afraid. They are both completely unwilling to fight anybody. I hope it's not because they're both planning on attacking me. Yeah, sure. I don't know what to do here. Not really sure. I was really hoping that the Shoshone would be willing to fight Egypt, but they're not. Egypt apparently is still super upset with me. And he's... Yeah, he's plotting against me. Culture victory contender. Alright, so it's probably two more. Oh, he's rising. He is rising, man. He probably has the internet or something. But Egypt is the only one that is able to, uh, to actually stop the guy. They should really start fighting each other. Yeah, it's gonna be Egypt. They will be the one to attack me. It's not gonna be the Shoshone. Alright, you can go. Let's switch places, you guys. There you are, and that way the musket man can go back. Alright, you guys guard him. We're gonna need to start building an army. And we need to do it somewhat quickly, or I will be destroyed. At least at number two in science, that's a positive thing. 
Except for the fact that, you know, he still has six more technologies than I do. I mean, he's just been kicking ass this game. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's pretty nuts. He has been destroying everybody this game. And that just seems to happen to the Shoshone a whole lot, actually. Alright, convert. Boom. Alright, you guys go back. I never really see the Shoshone fail throughout the game. Usually there's these sieves that never really grow that much or whatever. But the Shoshone always seem to do real good. If they are um, left alive long enough. Alright, you're good. Guard him with your lives. Alright, we're going to have to start doing some upgrades too. We, we should get more musket man. First upgrade is Gatling Gun. Then you've got the Machine Gun, which I don't think we can even get yet. Alright, Machine Guns are good, though. If we get there, we'll be alright with the, um... With that upgrade, but... He's got infantry, and he's, like, right on my borders. He's gonna... He's gonna kick my ass. Egypt will kick my ass. Honestly, I'm glad to even still be alive, and to still be... Somewhat of a contender in terms of science and whatnot. I mean, obviously my army is not going to be able to do anything. We've got a lot of city-state allies, and that's pretty cool. Yep, he's pretty literate. So I overtook Ramses, and that's cool. French with India has expired. I don't care about them. Pocatello declared war on Elizabeth, so he did want to, uh, to murder them. So I think at this point, we don't really need another academy. We would be probably better off just using the scientists. So what we'll probably do... Is go for ballistics. Try and get that right after this. All right, march out there, buddy. How is he not? Okay, that's the like one tile that I don't have. That's weird. Cargo ship trade with Pyramses. That's a lot of money. It really is. All right, we're good. I also feel like if he does declare war on me, my economy is going to crumble because he's just going to be able to take out a bunch of cargo ships. I'm trading with him, so I do rely on him to make a lot of my money. Oh, why would you declare war on me? Or uh, denounce me? Come on. What? Oh, that, that went by real quick. All right, see you later, England. That's four players left. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Unless I was the one doing the murdering, but... The Shoshone has no mercy, apparently. Yeah, so they backstabbed me. Ragu's selection was rigged. I mean, I guess that's cool. Oh, even Egypt is starting to... Uh... Yeah, they're not going to be able to, to do this. They are absolutely planning on wiping me out. All right, let's get that cargo ship real quick. And let's start getting some upgrades real fast. It's expensive, but we're just going to have to deal with it, really. It's the only thing we can do. Oh, it hurts. My wallet is crying, man. Alright, let's make sure we upgrade the ones that have some better um, promotions. Alright, let's save the rest of my money for some uh, some more upgrades. All right, you're good. All right, we have that one infantry on the way. I was hoping that... You'll pay for this, you dick. I was hoping that Egypt wouldn't have... Okay. Hoping, like I was saying, that Egypt wouldn't have infantry yet, but he's already got it. So basically, um, we don't really have anything that we can use that he doesn't have, I'm guessing. Maybe if we got some battleships, that could that could work. We ought to get a nuke, is what I'm thinking here. If we get a nuke, he will back off real quick. Alright, real road. Nah, don't do that. Do this. Alright, buddy. We're counting on you now. I like how I have all these shitty crossbowmen and then one... We still have riflemen. As a necessary upgrade. Oh, this sucks. Yes, great war infantry. All right, at least now he's slightly more... 
relevant. All right, we gotta get machine guns or the Gatling guns will just not be able to do anything ever. So we'll do this. All right, in the capital, we're gonna get some... I really think we just ought to get more infantry. So that's just what we'll do. All right, I gotta save some money here. I could upgrade him to a rifleman, but what's the point? We got we want to make sure this guy can go to to actual infantry. So that he can actually be helpful. I don't know how much time we have here, but it's probably not that much. Seeing as he just announced me and then he started talking shit, it was saying that my empire sucks or something, which is very rude. Guess we'll find out. Oh, we can make one more cargo ship. So we could make a whole lot of money here. Oh boy. Do that, yes. And then... That's very expensive. But we gotta do it. Alright, at least now we have some somewhat decent... Units running around. I think we should really go after Atomic Theory. If we can pull off a a nuke, that would certainly persuade Egypt to leave me alone. All right, there we go. That's better, but only slightly so. All right, let's see if he will propose the same deal. Nobody cares, Gandhi. Get out of here. I want to see if the Shoshone will propose the same deal that we had earlier. He's making almost a thousand gold per turn, by the way. That is a ridiculous amount of money. I don't think I've ever made a thousand gold per turn. But, you know, with that many cities, how could he not be banking that? He's keeping them all, too. He's keeping London, Hastings, all of it. All right, borders have grown, so we now own this oil. Oh, that's probably what he was after then. Stupid little settler. You wanted some oil. Alright, these guys are probably better off getting a... A hospital could be pretty good. That's some good food. Over in Oaks Mall, what we ought to do... I think we should just get another cargo ship there. Hey, man. Hey, how would you feel about parting with, uh... Some of your salt? And I'll pay for it. What? No, don't tell me he doesn't like me anymore. What's your deal, man? Look, I'll... Can't give you the open borders, but I can do the rest of it. Oh, come on. All right, let's make it eight. I don't want to give you open borders. There we go. All right, I really needed that, though. All right, so happiness is definitely going to be an issue. Luckily, we are going to have... All right. It's going to have to do it. It's going to have to trade with Pyramses. Luckily, we're about to get another social policy, which we can actually use to um, to get some extra happiness. Science is starting to look real good. We are approaching the thousand signs per turn. I mean, I probably shouldn't compare myself to the Shoshone, considering the ungodly amount of technologies that he has. I've definitely caught up to Egypt because I have now I have two technologies more than he does. So we are doing pretty good. Which I actually would have never expected. Uh, like... Six or seven videos ago. Alright, you know- Oh! United Nations already, eh? I have 20 votes! Guess who I'm voting for? You losers. Myself. I will be the host now. Alright, unit maintenance is pretty good, but I was also saw... Militarism. Two happiness from every barracks, armory, and military academy, which is a lot of happiness, and that's what we need. We will still get nationalism, though, because of that money. Then all we need is really some armories and some barracks and stuff, and we're going to be good to go. So let's get an armory into call. That's some easy happiness right there. 
Not to mention it will make fighting wars a bit easier as well. When our units are stronger. Don't, okay, don't declare war just yet. Just give me more time. I'm not even interested anymore in actually fighting Egypt and trying to take their cities. I'm just trying to not die here. And hopefully become the world leader. I mean, we need a lot more votes. But we're starting to get pretty close. Also to a science victory. Although then, you know, the Shoshone will crush every single one of us in that in those categories. How does it feel losing the host to me, man? 22 votes, sucker. I need only 18 more to make it. There's seven city-states. Which would give me 14. So that's only four more votes. And there could be a city-state I haven't yet met. So diplomatic victory. Still very much a possibility, I'd say. I'm, it's probably not likely, but it is a possibility. Nope. You're not getting me with that. Get out my face. Oh god, he's got a carrier there. We got to get some nukes. We got to get some great, beautiful nukes real quick. Bunch of destroyers. At least Milan's on my side and that'll help protect my coastline a bit. I don't know how much or how well, but at least we have them. That doesn't work for me, actually. Where even is their capital? There's no way you can reach that with a boat. I know that for sure. All right, so let's send this one to... I guess Ryatea, maybe they can find someone to trade with because... The, or Chichen Itza might work. I think they still have somebody available to trade with. All right, Oxmo. I'd say probably barracks. Let's just try and get those in like every city. Uh, they already have some barracks and whatnot, so we're good. Infantry 17 turns. Their production is still absolute garbage. Which is a bummer. Guess we're just getting a public school then. Still number three in terms of soldiers, but I'm only competing with stupid Gandhi. Seriously, even you denounced me. What have I ever done? I just called you stupid one second ago. Okay. But you didn't hear that. You don't know that. that. You're not a person, man. Shoshone, please murder them, man. At least you'll be my ally, right? I mean, there's no way I can defend myself from both the Shoshone and... Frickin' Egypt. I mean, we're gonna die. We gotta stay on the Shoshone's good side. At least we have the same ideology, and that's helpful. I guess I made the right choice. That scout's super dead, by the way. That's some infantry. Yeah, I mean, how was he ever supposed to survive that? I. That's just ridiculous. All right, Tonga. Got some iron. I guess that's cool. Tillamus grown. That's great, actually. That's a lot better than, like, the two gold thing we were getting earlier. Uh, you're now working that. Actually, I support that. That's good. Yeah, they needed some production. They have it now. Yes, Alexandria. Trade with them. That's some mighty decent cash. Public school. Tulum. Two food. Is that really that great? I guess they do need the food, though. I mean, they don't really grow that quickly, so let's just do it. All right, so over in Taco, a hydro plant would also be really good over here. If we wanted more production, but a hospital could um, allow the city to actually grow a bit quicker, which is what they need. So we'll just do that. And we're about to get some barracks and another infantry. That brings our total of infantry to three. Oh, Manhattan Project, eh? Oh boy. I certainly hope he doesn't have any nukes. And so does so he. We're going to see some nukes real soon. We're going to be seeing some nukes. This is going to be fun. This does feel like one of those type of games where people actually start nuking the hell out of each other. I might enjoy that. Unless I'm the one being nuked, then I, I wouldn't enjoy that, actually. Alright. Let's get you out to the front lines, eh? Protect our 
King, uh, what is it? What are we? I don't even know. Just protect us, whatever. Just kill some enemies, man. Alright, Overnook's Mall. 11 turns. It's a bit on the slow side. Let's get a stock exchange, get some money there. I think the capital city really ought to... Dude, there's so many options and things that we just kind of do need. I mean, five food is, is a lot. Yeah, let's make sure it grows a bit more. And hope that Egypt isn't ready yet. Okay. Oh my fuck. Why Egypt? Why? No. I'm not ready for this. No. We are so screwed. We're gonna have to kill that settler. Sorry, little settler. It's nothing personal, I just hate you. As a person. Alright, so do that. Kill those knights. They are plundering the tray roots. Oh my god, man. This is probably not gonna... Well, that's not even that bad. Alright, you should probably get to safety. Sacrifice some of these Gatling guns. Oh my god, he's got so many bonuses. How am I supposed to defeat him? This is just not going to end well. Alright, it's your time to shine, guys. You need upgrades, and I've got money. Luckily, I've been saving up a bit, but I mean, we're probably still screwed. All right, so screw the hospital. Don't do that anymore. Guns. Guns. Okay, you can actually make it because you kind of suck. Get me guns everywhere. We already lost four cargo ships. Happiness isn't looking too great. Because, okay, I stole Vilnius. Or I already had Vilnius and then they declared war on me, so I'm not getting any happiness there. Shoshone actually tried stealing Columbo away from me. Cannot allow that. I need those guys during this whole war thing. Alright, Chishin Idza. We're just going to have to prioritize production wherever possible, really. I don't care if the city seizes growing, but we need people to fight or we're dead. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it here for now. In the next part, I guess we'll see where this war is really headed. I'm assuming Egypt will murder the shit out of me, but we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.